Welcome back to Retro TV, man. We're here with a special guest. Aero. What's going on, guys? Aero, man. He in the <laughs> building. Uh, where you from? Uh, I'm from Greenville, but originally I was born in Detroit. Uh, and then And then my mom moved us down here when I was like three. And then really just been here ever since. Word. Like, if it ain't too personal, like, why she move to, like, South Carolina? Uh, I think just kind of just to be closer to family. Okay, okay. Detroit, it's like Detroit in like 2003. It's like crazy to be in. Oh, okay. And the city's going bankrupt and stuff. Like, oh, it makes sense. It makes yeah, sense. yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what got you in the music and shit? Really? All right, this is like a crazy. This is not crazy, but it's just like interesting. Like, all right, so it was this. Uh, it was like Christmas. I don't even know when. Like Christmas in eighth grade, ninth grade. Yeah. Hey, I got this computer. And um, I was over my homie uh, Josh house, or nephew, God's nephew, however, whatever we want to say. And his brother, his name now is Isaiah Huron, but back then he used to go by Adam Wolf. So we was over there and he was just cooking up on Ableton. And I was like, bro, he's making like, how is he making this? So boom, I go home, I try to get Ableton. I get a, I get a virus on my computer. Like by the time the virus is off, I'm going to Houston that summer. So I'm in. So like the night before, I'm like I'm watching who uh, Busy Work Beats. I'm working. I'm watching Busy Work Beats, trying to figure out what does FL Studio do, how to work. Couldn't like I'm like barely figuring out. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm gonna use Ableton. But by this time, I'm already in Houston. I've been in Houston probably about like two two weeks or so. Yeah. And like I like actually make a beat. Like I'm watching the Metro Boomin Razor uh oh, yeah. Razor videos. Like, bro, to this day I still like pitch my pitch my uh my snare down to D sharp. Like when you go in the set, it's just cause Metro said it, like it it it, it, it worked, you awesome. know. But I mean, after that, dude, like I just started just making beats every day. Like it was one of those things where it's just like I'm just making new things. So like that was the summer of twenty sixteen. So I've just been cooking ever since. Just like why not? Yeah, yeah, that shit. That's really good. Story down there to everybody. Once yeah. you find that shit. You can't go back. Like, like yeah. FL Studio saved my life. Like, I would, it's, it's and bro, yeah. it's kind of like at this point, bro, I would, it's, I'm not going to say it's fucked up, but. Yeah, ugh, I, I, I already this, know this, uh, Look, bro, <laughs> I would literally rather do nothing but make beats. Like, I would put that over, like, eating, Me taking too. care of myself. Like, if I didn't have to shower, like, the only downfall of making beats is that I got to go shower and, like, get my body right so I can go back to the studio. But, I mean, like. Facts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. So, so who's some of the artists you've been working with and shit? Um, really, uh, I just started working with this artist, uh, Lord Crone from Atlanta. You know, I just sent him a pack, going crazy. Yeah, just, yeah. He's fire. He's the next wave. I just, I just like see it, and I'm just like, bro, we're all young. Like, we just gotta keep just bigging each other up, going crazy, going crazy. Facts. Um, who else? Uh, Rich Delta. That's the guys. Yeah, yeah. Richie, Richie, me and Richie got a lot of stuff. When he drop, it's just gonna be it's, it's gonna be well worth the wait. But I mean, all of that's is like, like handcrafted. Like that's like that's what I'm really happy about. Yeah. Who else? Uh, this is artist from uh, Alabama, Jabo. He's crazy. He's he's gnarly. Who else? Like L.A. Kenzie. He's from Greenville. That's just like he he's not gonna lose. Yeah. Like there's no way he's gonna lose. Uh <laughs> he's just he's just making he's just he's just finding his, his sound. He's been doing music for so long, he just kinda just find himself and just he's just chipping away at the at the at the ice. Yeah. Well yeah, you probably can go on all day for goddamn. So who's some of the artists like you wanna work with? I really wanna work with SZA. No, Working okay. with yeah, SZA would be that. crazy. Um Tame Impala. Yeah. I want to really look. Tame Impala is so crazy, but it's like, imagine my drums on there. Like, imagine the eight of weights you can put on there. Like, I hear eight of weights, you know. I be thinking about that shit too. Yeah. Who else? Um, Future, Cardi, Playboy Cardi. Legends. Legends, like it can, it can just go on like forever. And I don't, bro. I want to work with everybody. I don't not want to work with everybody. Like, yeah. if anybody hit me up right now. Like, I want to work. It's like let's work. Like yeah, if yeah. you take yourself serious, then I'll take you take you serious and let's get some something going. Facts, facts. So like, how would you describe your sound? But it's it's a mix of it's a mix of hmm. 
damn. I would say it's a, it's like, it feels like this really, really, really long dream, but it's not. It's like, it's like when you lucid dream and you control what happens. Yeah. That's what my beat sound like. And it's like, there's no specific sound. It's just like, I'm making whatever I feel like. So, I mean, I guess my beat sound like me at the end of the day, like however yeah, I'm feeling feel? like. Yeah. People tend to say me, tend to tell me like, it sounds like some like good morning shit or like, like it's like it's like you're waking up in the morning this is like what you hear but i mean dude i'm just trying to it's just like whatever i wake up and make like we're definitely going to go to space we're definitely going to go to to another universe we're going we're going to whatever the new earth is but it's just that mixed with hard ass drums and i'm sorry mom that i'm cussing and stuff but but these drums are getting crazy and it's just like bro we're just going to like the drums have to be hard like travis scott said the dr- just don't fuck up the drums so i'm just taking that to the ultimate level it's like bro i'm never gonna fuck the drums up Bad. so you just get a, you get a piece of me you get some of my feeling and you get hard drums like this is gonna fill in your chest like it's gonna you're gonna remember plus it's like it's like a little uh it's a little goofy i would say it's like yeah yeah it's like it's like it's more playful it's like you can be in a trap but you can you can you can be in a trap but you can have on pink, you know? Yeah. Like you can be in the trap having fun. You can you can be in the trap having fun. Yeah. Cause we, the trap is whatever you make it. Facts though. That's facts. Yeah, I never like people don't I don't, don't go into detail when I ask that question. So that was that was a good answer. Yeah. <laughs> like who who inspired that sound though? Like artist and producer wise. Like. Kevin Parker, he's the he he is Tame Impala, oh. but Tame Impala is like the band of him, okay. only his ideas, but it's he's part of like Kevin Parker makes makes all the Tame Impala shit himself. Southside. His drums, like it, you don't get harder drums than that, like, you know? Yeah. Um Kevin Parker, Southside. Really like probably Pharrell, because Pharrell just he's just it just it's just a bounce like it's always a bounce like that's it you you can't it's like every beat has its own bounce but it still sound like pharrell like every beat sound different but it still sound like pharrell and that's true really about like all of them like in artist wise i would really say like richie uh like just going through the like when we were going through the pandemic he was just like bro go crazy like you got to be a row like he pushed that on me like you got to make what you you got to make only your beats like don't make nice. nobody else beats that sound like nothing else it's like i'm already not making tight beats because anytime i try to make a tight beat it never worked it always sound like it's, it sounded it, it just it sounded like me like, yeah. <laughs> like i can't make a i can't even make like a south side tight beat because i'm trying to put leads and yeah and throw claps and stuff off like you know like I don't want to go one, two, three. I want to go one, two, three, four, clap. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. but really, yeah. Kevin Parker, Southside, Pharrell, uh, and then Richie, just because he was the he was the first one to push me to like be like, bro, push your own sound. Like, bro, I like this. This yeah. don't sound like nothing I've ever heard before. Keep doing you. Only do you. He's he will stress that. Only do you, but do you to a hundred percent. I say a hundred eleven percent, but That's push what's it. Up, though. That's what's up, though. So like who who's some of the producers like you be working with and you wanna work with? I know I know one of the hardest producers I've ever met. His name is DTM. Yes, sir. I don't know if you ever met him before, but I don't know. He be out of here. Him, Paradox for sure. Paradox. I don't know. When when I get with Paradox, I feel like I'm on some like Southside Metro booming shit. Like, yeah. like just it just it it is it's like Every beat is better than the last beat, and we've been cooking up since. That's facts. I can vouch for that. Since since last year, like we've been yeah. cooking up since April last year, uh, and I and it's just like you meet somebody like him, it's like bro, you can't, like that's good energy. That's facts. somebody you want to be around. Yeah. And then when you like cooking up, he's just like bro, like everything I'm hearing, he hearing, but it's just like it's just in tune. We don't even have to say anything. Like we can walk in the studio, cook up, not say anything to each other the whole time. And every beat still gonna be better than the last beat we made every single time every time i promise you every time but really like him that's who i'm working with right now this is uh artist's name is hundred bands i'm not artist but uh it's this uh producer named hundred bands i think he's from like arkansas or kansas or something yeah. but he's fire 
um really that's everybody i, I don't really and matthias but I, you know matthias is he was just like the first one that was like sending me loops and stuff but he's in college now he's going crazy he just he's gonna be successful wherever he do anyway so yeah. but he's talented too but those are really the only four producers i'm like uh actually like work with I'm, but Southside, I gotta cook up with Southside. Metro, yeah. Icy, young Icy. Yeah, I Icy. He's crazy. Like, just, I don't know. It's just like, bro, he says, I don't know, bro. Icy's just turned. And he he know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you get it, if you know, you know. Yeah, I'm about to say that's Two turn. You know, you know type Two turn, if you know, you know. That's but crazy. yeah, him, Southside, like, TM, 808 Mafia, Kevin Parker, Pharrell. Everybody, I'm trying to cook up with everybody. Tay Keith, like Section Eight hits for hit. Bon Iver, whoever's producing Bon Iver stuff, like Mac DeMarco, cause he's a producer. You know, like Justin Bieber, like what's the? It's this dude, uh, Benny Blanco. I'm trying to work with him, but I'm trying to. Popstar Benny. Trap. Popstar Benny too. <laughs> Popstar Benny too. I'm trying to work with everybody. Everybody, bro. Fast. Mojo Crazy. I just seen him in Atlanta, and I was like, dang, like. Bro, like he's he's he, he was he's making hard shit, you know. Like, right. I just want to put myself around people that's making like. I want to put myself around people that feel like they make the best beats in the world. That's really it. That's how, that's how it should be, though. Really. That's really it. Yeah, yeah. Cam Tong. Oh, I forgot to say, mention Cam Tong. Cam Tong is a producer I work with too. Oh, um, okay. He goes crazy, and he's an artist too. Got some stuff with him. Cam Tong's crazy. Cam Tong is he's just like. It's gonna take people some time to get to get get that ear, but once they get it, they they're not gonna be able to let go. Yeah. So what? So you see, you got your brand on your hat. U.S. Was it us? Us. Yeah. So what inspired that? Why like, was that? Tell us. Explain to the people what that's about. Us is us is like. Not is like, us is, the concept. Not even a concept, but it's my perspective, of what I've seen and like being this age. Like, what is it? what is the prototype of what does it look like to be black what does it look like to be a designer what does it look like to be an architect what does it look like to be a maker what does it look like to be all these things and i've just 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 done my growing up and it's like i have so much to learn but that's what us is it's like it's continuously my perspective on what am i seeing in a world world like is like it's more than a t-shirt you know it's not even a brand it's more like of a not even an art house, but it's really just a house of my 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 just creative outputs on on what I see. You know, like when I want people when they have us, it's like you can have us on, they can have us on, whoever else can have us on, and it's like when they see it, they're like, oh, you part of us too, like you know, yeah, okay, like okay, okay. like you see it, you know, you just it's not something that's you know a lot of people want to want it to come out more than more than not more than i do but it's just like when the timing is right because you know this is not just for me it's for us you know what i'm saying yeah. it's for everybody it's not just for me and it's like i'd be doing my i'd be doing myself wrong if, if i just rush it rush it because it's like that's not what it's about you yeah. know i'm trying to build i'm not trying to i'm I, I i'm going to build buildings like huge buildings that you're like whoa like he's not even a trained architect he's not even he doesn't have any certification like you know but at the end of the day, it's like, how can't I build a building? Why can't I build a, a, a playground? Why can't I make a car? You know, why can't I make cookies that <laughs> you put in a microwave and they come out how if you put them in the oven? You know what I'm saying? Like, nice. us is just about putting just us is just a foundation for me to make any and everything my brain wants and bring it to reality. And the not even the consequence, but the effect is that is that it helps it. it it inspires, it brings, it motivates, it raises up the morale. It just inspires people to go and be themselves and just be us. Like us is, and it's like younger. It's like, it's like we're the first generation to come up with like, I don't remember not having internet. Like, what is that like? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is a designer? What is a black designer from the South? You know, my dad's African, you know, it's like you can, you can go super finite. And then it's like, when you go back in time, you think about why you do certain things it's like you everything matters about everything 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 matters it's like you know like yeah it's just i could sit here and talk for days about us but it's 
that's what us is it's really just this really long drawn out concept of what i see and my perspective and my outlooks on, on stuff yeah but in order for me to say I'm, I'm it's not no right or wrong but it's like i think this i think us and in order for me to prove that i think us this is the stuff that i make so this is like this is like when you say one plus one equals two. Yeah. It's like arrow plus us equals. I mean, arrow plus life equals us. Okay, okay. That's okay. Equals for air, for us. You know what I'm saying? Okay, it's just okay. like, yeah. And it's really just ver- like I really study Virgil Abloh, and it's like you can really get your ideas out. You don't have to like, you don't have to cut the endings off and like, you know, like make it shorter for people to view. It's like no, I'm gonna put this hat out for you to see us. But when you when you how you say like what is us like. What is us? Like, you know what I'm saying? If you're out and you're at Walmart, you see U.S., like, maybe that sparks a conversation for you to think about what is the U.S. doing with our taxes. Or, like, when you see us, just like, wow. Like, you think about the girl you fell in love with last summer. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not saying I did or anything, but. It could be anything, bro. Like, it's just yeah. like that. It, it, You know what I'm saying? Like, us mm-hmm. has billions of meanings to me. But, like, yeah, it's just like. When I look at us right now, I say, I like, I ask myself, I'm like, remember last summer? Like, what was that? Like, <laughs> when you see us, what was last summer? And then, you know? Bro, I can't even remember last summer. It's like, was last summer for us? Or like, what was last summer? But it's just like always sparking that idea of like, keep thinking, don't stop, keep going, keep going, keep pushing, keep pushing. You can think further, like. Fast though. That shit like damn near like your imagination come to life it's not even that it's like like us is is my world like i literally live in this like i make beats too so it's like i don't have to like i i ride around my car listening to me yeah wearing me (laughs) you know what i'm saying like and you know what i'm saying like wearing wearing like i'm in my own world it's just now i can share it with i'm now i'm at the point where i can articulate it enough to share with everyone yeah and so i don't know few months you'll get it okay i was just about to say yeah when when you you drop it soon it's dropping soon like and it's really and and us is really like when you see it you'll know but it's like i grew up in a house of all like my mom three sisters i'm the only i'm the youngest only boy so at the end of the day like at the end of the day all this is for us it's like when i think about for us like for my sisters for my mom like you know like what do i think about like them in you know what i'm saying like my sister my twin sister she just did her second year in college and i'm like what does it look like for her to get older and for her to wear this or like growing up we wore matching things or like yeah if i was in a quote-unquote relationship or whatever the case is like we were matching hypothetically speaking in real life whatever i don't know i'm being confusing on purpose but (laughs) (laughs) like you know it's like we're coordinating like but at the end of the day it's like you see what you do and it's like all of this is for us. Like, I can't be mad that you went to go do this with that. But yeah. when it drops, you'll see, like, you can wear this with your partner. You can wear this to school. You can wear this to college. You can wear this to the office. You can wear this to the park, you know? Yeah. You can wear us to wear anywhere. It's it's for us. It's for us to in, to wear, you know? Yeah, yeah. What you see for yourself next? Like, in the next couple years type shit. Next five years, where do you see Arrow? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give you five year, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell everybody my master plan, master plan right now, so that nobody can ever come back and, and say anything to me. In five years, in five years, I want to be, I want to be doing the same thing I'm doing right now, just on another level. Cause I'm doing, I don't, I don't want to do anything other than what I'm doing right now, which is making yeah. things. I'll just be making things at at a higher level, and, and everybody will be able to see like, everyone will be able to see that. In all this time and all this development, six, seven, eight years, like however many years it took me to to develop us, develop my sound, develop everything I'm working on, it's like it was, everybody will be able to see it. It will be out for everyone to physically touch and like yeah. be able to enjoy and be able to critique and, and understand like a, just a different point of view, a different a different idea, a different sense of thinking a different process of thinking you know yeah then ultimately the the goal (laughs) 
when I when <laughs> at the end somewhere posted up in like right now it's North Dakota. It'll probably change. No, no, no. After I've changed after I talked to like I don't even know. I'm not gonna say I just talked to uh to I don't even know what, I don't even know what to say, but she's like my. And I was I was saying like I want to go to North North Dakota. She was like. She had said something. I was like, wait, no. At the end of the day, I want to end up somewhere in Geneva or North, North Dakota with roads paved, like, perfect. Like, like real, yeah. real roads paved perfect. So I can just, like, skirt and whatever I, like, choose. Like, if I want to be in a Tesla Roadster, then I can be in a Tesla Roadster going crazy, you know? I can be in a Tesla Roadster going as fast as I want. I can hop in a McLaren and go as fast as I want. And then whenever somebody want to work or anything like that, I just... I hop on the PJ. I drive <laughs> to McLaren, 111 miles per hour to the PJ. Hop on the PJ. Go where you need to go. Go where I need to go. And when I'm done, I want to go back home <laughs> and talk to nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if it's in Geneva or even if it's in Sweden or like North Dakota, the first one, the first of my houses will be in like North Dakota because that's just like cool. North Dakota, like. Nobody thinks about it. And now that I said it, now it's like I'm just gonna do it everywhere now because it's just like this is just mine, like it's my world ultimately. And then when you walk in, it's just like whatever I made the night before, it's just playing, like you know, like. And when I'm done, when I when I get tired of listening to myself, I turn myself on. and I'll probably put on some like I don't know, like Cardi or like, like I'll be 40 listening to Cardi because that'll be like our Jay Z. Like I'll yeah. be like, bro, like I'm turning up to this, like you know, like. Or I'll be listening to whoever else, but at the end of the day, bro. I just want to get to a point where I'm able to help everybody and give everybody, give everybody back what they pour into me, but 11 times more, a billion, zillion, quadrillion more than what they did for me. Cause it's like, I'm entirely grateful for everything and I'm super appreciative of everything. And it's like, you know, as you get older, you just hop out on faith a little bit more. And you just be like, bro, yeah. like, I don't mean to be the guy got me or who, or, but the simulation be working sometimes. I'm not going to lie. The simulation will work against you, but the simulation will put an algorithm in here and there to make sure you know, like, okay, like, you know, we like this. Keep going with this, you know, yeah, like, yeah. like this is what we plan for you, like, yeah, you know, like you're doing something crazy. Why are you doing that? Like, nah, we about to we're gonna press this button and make sure this don't work out. So you hop back on your on your path, like what you're supposed to do. So, you know, I that's just what that's just what I work towards every day of making sure like I do what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. For me to help us, help everybody, help my mom, help my twin sister, you know, just help everybody out. Not even help everybody out, but to, but to give back to everyone, build crazy things, make crazy things, you know, like, who says I can't collab with Tesla? I don't even want to make a car brand. I don't want a car brand, but maybe I just want to make my own Tesla. So, and maybe everybody else might like my Tesla, so they, maybe they want to buy it or something. Just like little stuff like that. Any shout outs? Oh, this is the this is the fun part. Yeah. I'm not, I'm definitely uh, hey look. I'm sorry, wait, what he said? He said I'ma let you finish, but <laughs> <laughs> nah. Alright. Um I would say first of all, shout out to shout out to my guy that I talked to when I talked to him. Shout out to No, shouts out to <laughs> My sister, my twin sisters, all my sisters, my family, my mom, my mom especially, especially my mom, Erica, Felice, all my sisters, Richie, jo- John, Josh, like everybody. Like if if you ever spoken to me or I've ever spoken to you, thank you. Like that's who I'm shouting out. Everybody. If I've talked to you, if I have talking to you or I have not talked to you, still shout out you. Shout out Elon Musk. Really shout out Elon Musk. He's tr- he's trolling with a B, like with multiple Bs. Like how you how you on twi- how you buy the company that you troll with <laughs> for a couple for a couple I don't even know what's four hundred million or not even four hundred million. They, he definitely gave him way more than that. However many he got, bought him out. And I was like, all right, cool. I'm still gonna troll and do the same thing. And everybody that hate me, I'm gonna unban you so that you can hate me more. And then I just keep. I'll just keep working on this little, this little, this little electric car company that I'm doing, and trying to go to space. Like, that's crazy. And Virgil Blow, shout out Virgil Blow. That's my only idol. Virgil Blow, Elon Musk, 
my mama, my family, my nana, all the homies. DTM too. He, he's included in all the homies and everybody. Yes, so sir. that's really it. Everybody. Yeah. This is Arrow. Retro TV signing out.